Hey everybody, it's Jenny Hansen Lane and welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. We've had a really fun September and I wanted to walk you through a coloring book with Canva text to image and we're just going to go through the whole process. Hopefully this won't be too long and strenuous as I've never done a tutorial video like this, but I have the paid account of Canva and I think I'm just going to show you guys. Um, I've already made one of these, but I thought let's just do a video. And so I'm going to, as you can see, I'm going to do a mushroom coloring book, coloring page, black and white. And so I'm kind of typing in keywords uh, to do the text image. It's not a full sentence and I'm hitting generate and I want to see kind of what it brings out for me. 8x8 eight eight is um, small and we're going to see how it prints and pixelates and all that stuff. So as you can see that it's working hard, I think that Canva Pro you get to have a certain amount of pages that you actually get to use. And I really haven't played around with this enough to know. You can see there's a little bit of white behind here. So I'm going to go behind and pull the background out and having a commercial pro account with Canva, I did agree to not just slap in images. So I'm going to, let's move this. I need to make this more of a coloring book, right? So I'm going to go into my uh, shapes and things like that and figure out what I can do to maybe put a frame obviously, right? Line border around my coloring book. Okay. And it's a little thick, but it could be fun. Okay. So I'm going to continually do this. This one already has a line, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so I'm going to set up my border for all of the future pages. Okay, so we're going to go back to text to image. We're going to start again. We're going to do, I'm just going to change little variations to see what we can get. My style is always going to be drawing because I want it to emulate a coloring book and I know people have different preferences on types of coloring book, but I'm okay with kind of a sketch look for this because my whole goal is I want to see how it prints. And these are typically maybe images that you wouldn't see in uh, Creative Fabrica. So this one, they're not going to be able to color as much, but I think inspiring people to use different types of pencils and even crayon, you know, if, if crayon's not best, you usually tell people like, try using fine markers for this. So I'm going to, and let's see, so it actually doesn't let me take out the background. Let's see if that does. Background remover and see how it looks. Okay, those almost look like flowers on stems, huh? <clears throat> so inside of here, I think for this coloring book, we are going to do every other page. So that way, if people want to use pens, like sharp, even Sharpie pens, that it won't bleed through. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we're doing every other Okay, so I'm just, I'm really just seeing what this Canva text image can do. And so I will probably do 30 images to see how it goes. And it might be a little silly that I'm actually choosing mushrooms because mushrooms are easy to come by. 
right? So what is something else that you guys, this one, I don't know, the lines on it kind of make me feel like it might not be a good fit for what we want to do. Let's see how it looks when we actually lay it down. Unless maybe we take it to the corners. That might be kind of interesting. But like, what is this, right? What is that right there? That's so funny. Um, let's go and see if we can clean it up. So there, inside the background remover, you have the option to erase. And so that could actually help us <clears throat> for AI. I accidentally took that out. Oop, we'll take that whole corner out. And then, let's see. I don't see my done. There we go. Apply. What do we think? I think I did too much on there. Let's do it one more time. Learning curve, right? You guys are learning curve with me. So I'm trying to think of something else that would go with mushrooms. Yeah, we're going to keep that bottom line there. Okay, done. Mushrooms and maybe let's try. Let's see. I know I'm not spelling that right, right? It's, I have dyslexia, so yard gnomes. There we go. But gee, that's so funny. So there's actually probably lots of animals. Or sorry, there's probably lots of coloring pages that have gnomes in them. So once again, I chose something that might already be readily available text to image i really imagine that being something that you you are able to find online without paying money i know there's a couple of coloring books see this is funny there's a couple of coloring books that i have wanted to make oh man that one's kind of scary huh this almost looks like they took it from somebody's sketchbook huh and it's definitely some people think that is not suitable for a coloring book but we're gonna take out the background and i think that did a good job that is kind of freaky so maybe this um maybe this can be for teenagers what do you guys think i don't know if i would necessarily have it for kids. This guy's cute though. I mean, who knows, right? I do think it's important to know your customer so you're not doing something too scary, you know. I wouldn't say this is for like ages two to three by any means. So this line is kind of interesting. I'm gonna, we're gonna go in one more time and I think erasing it is gonna help us just to give it a little bit cleaner lines but also allow for the you know the customer to have the creativity they want on it i might even go in a little bit here well there's a little dot here that take out a wrinkle right give our gnome a little plastic surgery okay we're going to hit apply and we're going to back out and look if I am going to advertise this as a book that has gnomes and mushrooms, then I definitely want to switch it up. I want to maybe do like every other so I don't feel like it's just a gnome coloring book or, you know, or they're not, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to them. Oops, okay, so we have one. Oh, see, we need to replace this one here. 
We only did gnomes right once. Gnomes coloring pages. Let's do plural, see what we get. Black and white lines. And let's do happy. Let's see what a happy gnome can get us. And I think I'm going to make this um, 25 pages, maybe 30. I don't know, it's tricky because the pixelation of this, I need to research. Oh, man, that's almost scarier than this guy, huh? That's like a clown gnome. Ooh. So this black line actually works if the hat's cut off. Oh man. So if I don't take out the background, that does change my line. That guy's too scary, don't you guys think? This one on the right? I always wonder, like, we're evolving this new technology, so please report these images. Like, this does not seem right. So I didn't like putting happy. That was bad, right? Let's try doing gnomes. Um, like just, I don't know if head up will do it. What I'm thinking is just kind of what they've been doing, like portrait, but maybe I should do full body next. And I don't think I can really move around while text to image is going for beta. I need to stay on the page so it can generate and be there. Okay. Ooh, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? No. Hmm. Almost looks like, mm, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this one. Okay. You guys have comments on like how to make a better gnome. Definitely chime in. Because I'm going to take you on this journey. After uh, this book is done, I think we'll do another video of like uploading this. Okay, we're having trouble with the background remover. As you can see. I like the lines, but hopefully I didn't do too much right there. Um, the time that it takes to do Canva to text image AI like I have an art background sometimes I wonder if I should cut if I could just draw these in and do it that way okay so let's check out I didn't really love that one I didn't do a great job so I almost wonder if capitalizing no let's do this let's do uh garden gnome and let's take out coloring pages and see if we can get something as it's generating while we're waiting let me know what content you're publishing for Q4, what you're excited about. Okay, this one's kind of quirky. Like, this one is a little too sketchy. Oh, that's so cute. Why is that so cute to me? Wow, so I actually... Hmm. This doesn't really work for this one. But I think that I'll keep it at the end for something else. And we'll work on another project together. Okay. So I don't want to lose it. Okay. So you kind of get the gist of what I'm building here. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to build out two more pages with Canva text to image. And then in the next video, we'll upload it and I'll actually order it and we'll do a video. I'll show you what it looks like and we'll review the quality and then we'll have a really good idea if it's a book 
that we want to, or if it's a feature that we actually want to use within Canva. All right, you guys, love you. Peace out.